Hello people of YouTube. So if you're anything like me, you've probably been really bored during this quarantine. Uh, especially all my sports fans have probably not had very many things to watch. There's no live sports going on. You have to get really desperate if you want to try to find something to watch. And last night, um, I finally got to watch live sports. I was basically sitting in my room, getting ready to play video games, which is a thing that I've had to do to cope with the quarantine life. And I get a text message from my friend with a picture of uh, the DraftKings slate. And I'm, I'm just looking at it like, what, it, what is he playing? Is he playing some like eSports or something? And I see a baseball lineup. And so basically what this was, was the Korean Baseball League. It's called the KBO League. And I was desperate for sports. It was like one o'clock in the morning. I decided, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and watch this. I'm gonna make a lineup and then I'm gonna watch my players play. And I just have to say, it was such an awesome experience when there is sort of something tragic going on or something difficult that we're all dealing with as a collective group, especially in the United States. There's this um, push to go look for um, some sort of escape from that reality. And oftentimes that comes from sports. One of my favorite baseball moments of all time was um, shortly after 9-11, uh, there was a game at the Mets stadium where Mike Piazza hit a home run and the crowd was just ecstatic and they were so excited and it's one of the greatest fan reactions I've ever seen. I also remember after the Boston bombing, the Boston Bruins had a game and their, their singer, the person that sang the national anthem for the Boston Bruins, started singing and then stopped. And all of the Bruins fans continued on and sang the national anthem. I can't watch it without getting a tear in my eye. The same goes for when President Bush went to Yankee Stadium and pitched the first pitch in a time where people were really worried and um, safety was a, a, a huge concern for people. I think sports has always brought us hope. And so I think this was a little bit different yesterday because it's not a sport we're used to. The KBO League, I don't know that very many people in the United States follow it. I've never watched a game. I think I've heard of it just from a couple players um, having played there and then coming to the MLB, but it's not something I've ever really kept track of. But last night I watched the game and something really incredible happened. I went on to Twitter suspecting that maybe some people would watch it. It was on ESPN. Um, and I started tweeting a little bit about it and I started reading other people's tweets about the KBO league. And there were a lot, a lot, a lot of people talking about it. There were people finding ways to watch it, ways to watch multiple games. And, um, I think that was just a beautiful moment in, in this time to find a place of hope in a really uncharacteristic or, un, um, or, or a place that we wouldn't expect to see it. And, uh, I think that's just the collective power of sports. Sports has this power to bring people together. And I think the idea is that we are better as a group and we are better when we can enjoy something together. And that's honestly the, the power of sports fanship and why we love sports. We get together with fellow fans, whether that be fans of our teams, fans of other teams, and we enjoy something all together. And last night when I got on Twitter and I saw people talking about the KBO, picking their favorite teams, posting highlights, just watching the game and talking about it, it felt like there was a sense of normalcy that had been restored for a few hours. And I just wanted to, to talk about that because I think it's one of the great things about sports and one of the great things that sports brings us. And I'm just grateful for it. I hope that you had the opportunity to enjoy it. And if you didn't, I hope you get the opportunity to enjoy it at some time soon. I think the games will be on ESPN for a while. And, you know, until at least we get, we get our, um, you know, major sports leagues back in the United States, which could still be some time. And, you know, that we'll be grateful for that when they return as well. But I just, I just thought I'd mention um, what happened last night because... It really was heartwarming to see people coming together late in the late hours of the night to appreciate the game of baseball and to talk about it amongst people to sort of cope with this difficult time that we're going through. Getting a chance to experience that and experience that with other people um, was really awesome. So thank you to the KBO League, or a baseball league in Korea, um, for giving us the opportunity to enjoy something together and to allow sports to heal like it always does.